All right, folks, I have a 99 Lexus ES300 without a tire pressure monitor. And I'm tired of not knowing what my tire pressure is when the seasons change. From hot to cold, cold to hot. So I decided to install a tire pressure monitoring device that I could just attach to my tire stems and it will communicate back to me what my tire pressure is. So I thought I'd give this a try, buying this and, inst and installing it on my vehicle. These are the monitoring devices that you install on the valve stems and each one of these has its own battery. They provide a tool so if the battery wears out you can screw off the battery cap. There you go. If the battery wears out you could simply just push this battery out. Now each one of these monitors there's a plastic film that has to be removed in order to activate it. So this one, I'll show you how this works. See that white plastic film? That has to be removed. So you just peel this off. A little bit of sticky adhesive here. Okay, there we go. And just slide the battery back in. So now this unit has been activated. And you have to do that with the remaining adapters. Now once these are attached to the valve stem, all you have to do is plug this into your accessory port or cigarette lighter, and then I'll establish a communication with your valve stem. So the first thing we'll do is take a tire pressure reading. So it's showing 31.6 PSI. So to determine what your tire pressure should be set at, look at the label inside your core door and that will show you the recommended tire pressure for the front and rear tires. So we'll take one of the rubber caps off. Now you take this cap and turn it inside out and you put that over the valve stem. This is the rubber vapor barrier for the pressure monitor. This is the left front. So these are extra O-rings for the tire monitor. So if you switch out the battery and the O-ring seems a little worn, you could replace that O-ring with these extra rings that are provided in the kit along with another rubber o-ring that goes in there. So now we have our brass nut. We'll put this on the valve stem. And then we'll screw on the monitor. A little bit of air leakage in the process. We'll make that hand tight and then from behind we'll tighten the nut onto the pressure monitor and to make sure it's not leaking we'll just squirt it with some soapy water. Okay no air bubbles. Wipe this dry and now we'll take this rubber dust boot and fit it over the sensor. And there you go. Now we'll do the other remaining three tires. So we installed all four of the tire monitors. Now we're ready to plug in the monitor device, which has been preset at the factory. And you have a set reset button here on the side. So this has been preset to pick up the Bluetooth signals from each of the tire monitors. So now we'll plug this in and we'll turn the ignition on.
Although the upper limit on this tire is 50 PSI, we really don't even want to get close to that limit, so we're setting it at 41 PSI. Now on the low side, you generally don't want to go below 28 PSI, so that's where we're setting it. Now there's a tire temperature sensor, but I don't think that's relevant. If the tire pressure is low, the tire temperature is going to rise. But then again, the tire temperature will rise if you're driving at 100 degree weather and the asphalt's real high. So there's a tire temperature setting and it's up to you uh, what you want to set it at. But the same process in terms of setting the low and high pressure limits. Now we'll just go for a test drive. So this is a convenient tool to give you peace of mind on earlier model cars that didn't have tire pressure monitoring.